Next up, we're two city chaps. Uh, my name is Tim Nice but Balding, and uh, this is my partner in crime, uh, Charlie Slick but Thick. I'm out. Uh, and we're both something in the city, and tonight we're offering you the opportunity to invest in our piece of paper. Over to the Charlie Meister. Thanks, Timbo. This is a piece of paper. Let's say the four of you left invest 20k each. That means this is worth... 30k. Uh, sorry, four times 20,000 is 80,000. Anyway, this piece of paper is worth 80k. So I get on the blower to Timbo. I got this on my phone. <laughs> Oh, dim of me. Oh. Hi, Charlie. How's tricks? Got a piece of paper here worth 80k, but by tonight it's going to be worth two million. Crikey. Why? Because I say so. I'm out again. Well, you've lost me there, Charlie, but it's a deal. So, I bike the piece of paper over to Timbo's, and then this happens. Oh, hi, Charlie. It's Tim. Got a piece of paper, it's currently worth two million. So by tomorrow night, it's gonna be worth four million. Crikey! The dragons start to take an interest as Tim and Charlie trade their piece of paper between each other and the price rockets. Eight million pounds. Stop. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. You are holding a piece of paper and soon in a couple of two, three days, it's going to be worth eight million pounds. That's right. Yeah. But I'm intrigued. What happens to your piece of paper in the end? Well, once we've exchanged it with each other enough to make it worth 200 million... We sell it to an oik in a high street bank. And then he gets an oik in government to get the taxpayer to underwrite the whole thing, so it really is worth 200 million. I'm in. OK, I've got to declare an interest here. Uh, Tim is obviously my brother. <laughs> yes, sorry, forgot. <laughs> Dim of me. Now, Tim, you have colossal levels of stupidity and you had a very high profile during the last banking crisis. And for those reasons, and those reasons alone, I'm in. You two are a couple of only full sun horses, Rodney Plonkers, innit? But you posh, so your hedge fund managers are mean it, innit? You make my flesh creep. Thanks very much. Yeah, means a lot. Shut up, I haven't finished, and my blood boil. I hate you, and furthermore, I hate you. But you will make me money, so I'm in. I really like your piece of paper, and I really like you, but I'm not going to invest. I'm the lovely one. Well done, guys. Thanks, Thanks very much. much. Thank you. Of course, there are lots of you out there making lots of money by once again selling each other meaningless bits of paper. Sure they are, yeah. What if the banks notice and the entire financial system collapses? Well, I used to work in a bank and I can categorically tell you that will not happen. Mm.